everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's super important for keeping your files secure, restricting user access uh, to folders and drives in Windows 10 and 11. Whether you're managing a home PC or setting up a workstation at the office, this guide will help you control who can see or edit your files. So let's get started to set Folder permissions, the folder must be on a drive formatted with NTFS as folder permissions are only supported on NTFS file systems. If you're unsure about your drive's file system, here's how you can check. Right click on the drive containing the folder you want to manage, select properties, and then go to the general tab. Look for the file system entry. It should list NTFS if your drive is properly formatted. All right, so let's jump into the steps to restrict user access. Locate the folder or drive that you want to restrict. Right click on the folder and select Properties. Now head over to the Security tab. Here you'll see a list of users and groups who have permissions to access the folder. If you want to add a new user or group, click on edit, then add, type in the name of the user or group you want to add and click check names to make sure it's correct. Click OK when you're done. Now, you can set specific permissions for that user or group. You'll see options like full control, modify, read, and execute, and more. Check or uncheck these boxes to grant or deny access. Click apply in the warning dialog. Click yes, then click OK. With that, that specific user is restricted and cannot access the folder and its contents. Let us switch to the user that we have restricted access to the folder. As you can see, the whole shared volume is now blocked. They cannot access, if you want them to have access to the volume and certain files, you can make changes from here or from your own account. Before you make any changes, it will ask you for your admin password. I just skipped that part here. And that's how you restrict user access to folders and drives in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's a straightforward process that can really help keep your files safe and secure. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips. See you next time.